Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video I have been wanting to do for a while. Um, these blushes have been sitting in a drawer since I got them and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And I'm talking about the Jane Arundel Pure Pressed Blush. Now these went on sale during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. They're normally $32. Um, so I picked up a bunch. They were 50% off one day. A lot of the shades sold out. They were $16. So I picked up a bunch of shades. And then again, I just got caught up in life. And um, But I've heard amazing things about these blushes and I really wanted to try them out and they actually are amazing. One of the things I do like about Jane Arundel is that it's a makeup that you can wear after some sort of procedure. So I have talked about that I do, you know, I've done a chemical peel, um, I've done laser, and you know, once you're clear to wear some sort of product or put some product on your face, it's clear that you can actually wear a lot of their makeup products on your face, like after a treatment, whereas you wouldn't put, you know, a normal foundation on your face, you can use their foundation. So I looked into getting a lot of their products and I really do like a lot of their products. They're definitely, um, I feel like they're really great for more mature skin. So I really wanted to take a look at their blushes. So here is um, one of the blushes and this is just uh, this is the shade Barry barely rose but I love the packaging now I know um, a lot of the packaging was reformulated or the, the products were reformulated and then the packaging was redone I also like the size of these they are a little thick but they actually are pretty good size I do wish they were a little thinner but they do have a nice mirror inside you can see here and they're pretty um, sturdy they have a magnetic closure and all of that so again these are $32 um, and they looks like they have 14 shades currently one of the things they also provide on your on their website is this little chart here so I printed it out I circled the shades that I have and what you can see is you have light medium and dark and then you have warm neutral and cool so I have somewhat of a neutral warm leaning skin tone however I do like sometimes wearing cool tone shades so I would like a cool tone blush so what I did is I actually purchased um, two in each category so I have two warm two neutral and two in cool now you'll see here for the neutral I actually have one of the darkest shades in the neutral so the neutral only has four shades so it has um, you know four shades within it but uh, yeah, I have um, the other ones, I have a light and a medium, um, and then some of them are considered both for light. So uh, this is a really great reference. So if you're unsure which shade, I'm not sure if this is on the Ulta website. They do sell these blushes at Ulta. Not every shade, but some of them are. But this is on their website. So if you're researching the shades and you're unsure which one, this is a really good tool. And because I always forget to list what eyeshadow I'm wearing and every, somebody usually will ask, um, I actually am wearing a Jane Arundel Pure Pressed Eyeshadow. And this is the only one that I have. This is actually the first time I'm using it. And this is the uh, palette Naturally Glam. And uh, it's the first time using it. So it's very natural looking. Um, it's kind of, it's all, and I wouldn't say it's a shimmer, but it's kind of like a satin. Um, but so far I like it. It's a very, na it's, it's called naturally glam, but it's a very natural um, looking eyeshadow. So I do like it. This is the first time I've, I've worn it. So first time I've actually got to play around with it, but so far I like it. Went on really smooth, blended out really nicely as well. Okay, so I am gonna do swatches at the end of the video. So if you are just wanna look at the swatches, you wanna skip the try on, just go ahead down to the bottom and look for the timestamps that says swatches and you can skip me trying on all the shades. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to try the two warm shades side by side, the two neutral shades that I have side by side, and then the two cool shades side by side. I figured that, you know, if you're looking for um, a specific undertone, that will give you the comparison of at least of the two shades that I have. Now I have six of the 14, so I don't have all 14 shades. So six shades is a really, you know, I think a good amount of um, variety to have of one, you know, one brand of blushes. Okay, and we are gonna go um, lightest to darkest. So the first one we're gonna start is, we're gonna start with the warm, and this is Copper Wind. And Copper Wind is described as a peach apricot. And I have two different um, of my Sigma blushes, or blush brushes, and I'm going to go in on my right cheek with Copper Wind. So let's see here. 
Okay, so here is Copper Wind. So as you can see, this is the lightest shade of the warm tones, and it's very pale. It's a very pale blush, but I think it looks really pretty. Um, I love warm blushes, so I think it's a really pretty blush. I think this would be really pretty with, you know, a bolder eye look, but um, this is Copper Wind. Okay, the other warm shade that I have is Whisper, and Whisper is described as a shimmering peachy pink and actually this one is actually lighter than copper wind i apologize copper wind could be for light or medium this one is says it's only for light so i think it's probably going to be a little bit lighter than copper wind but uh, we'll apply it on my left cheek and be able to see the difference Okay, so this is Whisper. And Whisper, one, it's got a shimmer to it, whereas Copper Wind is a matte. Um, very subtle differences, but I do see the difference. They're both pretty pale. Um, this one does seem to be a little bit paler, which makes sense because it is um, specifically for light skin. And there is a slight shimmer, but it's not, it's kind of like the eyeshadow. It's, it's very subtle, but there is a shimmer where this is a matte. So again, this is Copper Wind, and then this is Whisper. Okay, so I have cleaned my face, I have cleaned my two brushes, and we're gonna move on to the cool. I'm gonna end with the neutral. Um, so we're gonna go on to the cool, and we're gonna start with Awake, which is the first one listed, but it's also the lightest one, I think, um, at least of the two I have. So I have um, Awake, and this is Awake, and it is described as a dusty rose. So once again, I'm going to start with the right side of my face and apply it just like so. Okay, so here is Awake. Again, it is described as a dusty rose and it's um, cool. And I really like this one. Now this one, even though it's the lightest one, I feel like this one had a lot more pigment. Um, I do really like the two warm ones just because I really lean towards um, warm tones, but this one is absolutely a beautiful blush as well. But I do feel like even though this one is only listed for light, I do feel like it has just a little bit more pigment. So again, this is Awake. And then the other cool shade I have is called Barely Rose. And this one is described as a soft, cool pink. And this one is listed for both light and medium skin tone. So um, now it doesn't seem, this one looks like it has a little bit more, um, like it's a, it says it's a soft, cool pink, but I feel like it has a little bit more peach, whereas the Awake was more pinky, I guess you could say. Okay, so here is Barely Rose. So Barely Rose, Awake, very, very similar, very similar. This one is a little bit pinky, and again, you'll see it in the swatches at the end, but this one is just a little bit pinkier, and this one is just kind of like, it's still a cool pink, but it's got more of a peachy feel to it. Um, so I think it just depends on what, you know, you're leaning towards, but I wouldn't get both of them because I think they're very, very close. Okay, so once again, my cheeks are clean and I cleaned my brushes. So now we're gonna go into the two neutral shades. So for the neutral shades, I actually have the lightest one that's listed for light skin. And then I also have the darkest one for dark, um, for dark skin, which is Mocha. So it's interesting that I have those two. One's a pink and one's a brown also, but they're both neutral shades. So that's also one of the reasons why I like these two shades. So we're gonna start with Cotton Candy. And uh, you'll see here, so this is Cotton Candy, and Cotton Candy is described as a shimmering dusty pink. So one of the other ones was a dusty pink, I forgot which one, but this is a shimmering dusty pink, so we're gonna apply. Now they are kind of, these are kind of dusty, but I love the way they apply. I think they look, they just glide on your face. They're very, very easy to apply, and even though they're very um, kind of sheer, they just go on so nice and blend out beautifully. So I really like the formula of these blushes. Okay, so here is Cotton Candy. And as you can see, it is definitely the one of the lightest ones that I have, I think. Um, really pretty pink, nice neutral pink, has a nice shimmer to it, but not overly powering. Um, just really like it. So it's a very, but I think it's a very good, you know, if you don't like, I'm not a big, you know, pink bubblegum pink person. This is like the perfect pink for me. 
And then the last shade I have is Mocha, and Mocha is described as a soft pink brown. And again, this is the darkest of the neutral shades that's listed in that little, you know, spreadsheet. So, um, or cheat sheet, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna apply this on my left cheek and we'll do the side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so here is Mocha. I actually had to go in and kind of buff it out because I did apply a little too much. But again, this is more for dark skin, um, but I think it's my favorite. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Now, it's just, again, a neutral shade. It's like a soft pink brown. This is totally up my alley. So, um, but it very, I did apply too much and I did have to kind of buff it out a little bit. Um, I hope it looks okay. But um, this is probably my favorite, but I also like blush to show up. But I also know if I do a bold eye look, I'm not gonna be wearing a blush like this. I'm going to be wearing something more like this that's paler. So it's always good to have both. But I really, this is, this is I think my favorite of all the six that I have. And I forgot to say, this is Cotton Candy and this is Mocha. Okay, so now I will cut to the swatches of all the shades so that you can see them side by side on my arm. Okay, and here are the swatches. So from left to right, we have Copper Wind, Whisper, Awake, Barely Rose, Cotton Candy, and Mocha. So the first two here are the two warm shades, Copper Wind and Whisper. As you can see, Whisper is the lightest one. That's the ones for light. Copper Wind is for light or medium. Of these two, um, Copper Wind is matte, Whisper is shimmery, but I would choose Copper Wind. They're very similar in tone, but Copper Wind just has a little bit more pigment, but both are really beautiful um, and there's some subtle differences. Now for the cool shade, you have Awake, which is this first one, and then Barely Rose. So there's a lot of difference between the two. Awake is actually a little brighter, even though Awake is only listed for light, but Barely Rose is for light or medium. So, and then you have the two for the neutral, and I think these are probably the most versatile. So you have Cotton Candy, and then you have Mocha. Mocha is for deep, so probably not the one for me, and Mocha is definitely my favorite. Okay, so I went back in and kind of tried to even out the cheeks without um, removing the blush, but um, so first of all, I just did my powder blush stick color with before doing this video and I thought my thought was I was probably going to narrow it down to two shades because I have six shades. I bought it for this video. Um, but I really like these blushes. I think they're they are probably one of the most beautiful blushes on on the market. Um, I've tried, you know, I like these better than my Pat McGrath um, and probably more than my Charlotte Tilbury. They are so smooth so natural looking um so i'm i don't think i'm going to be decluttering the four shades that i mentioned i think i was going to keep the two neutral shades i can't remember but i'm not going to be decluttering any right now i definitely want to play around with these a little bit more and um i also have the powder from jane arendelle the powder foundation that i want to start playing around with um so i might eventually narrow them down if these could be depotted i might even just create my own little palette because i i mentioned that i do tend to use palettes more so if i could get these and put them all in one little palette that could make it very easy for me to just have them all in one place rather than you know six individual blushes even though these little containers are great but i I think they're absolutely amazing blushes. I think they look, you know, as I was taking them off, I'm like, wow, these are really, really pretty. So definitely want to play around with these more. Um, again, they're $32. They were on sale. I want to say it was in the spring of 2023, the Ulta, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, um, and they were $16. There's always sales on Jane Arundel, usually like a 20% off. Um, but if there's ever sales or a good sale of a product that I really like, I do put it in my community tab and I also will usually, usually put it in my Insta story on Instagram. So definitely follow me in both places. Um, I try not to post too many sales because I know that can kind of get annoying, but if there's a good sale, I usually will post it. But I think these are fantastic. And if you were just watching this video to get the shades, um, you know, I think that you probably only need like one or two shades, I would say get um, you know, maybe a light shade or a, dar a darker shade or, you know, kind of 
a new you know if you if you're like me and you're kind of lean more neutral then i think the the cotton candy and the mocha are two really good choices because there's like a pink and kind of like a nudie pink um but then also there's a lot of good uh you know for warm and cool um but i would say use that chart on their website as well to help you choose but hopefully the uh six shades that i shared today and i swatched and tried on for you will help you in your decision when you're picking a shade so let me know in the comments below which is your favorite of these blush shades or if you don't have any which one was your favorite on me which one do you maybe want to pick up so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone